yeah. five years chance to never know that. Everything's found, everything's found. Right, the box is two metres long by 1.5 metres high. This is it out of the box. Only thing we noticed is the bolts that fit in here, Samson don't supply them. And the ones that come with your TV bracket, they're too short. It needs to be M8 by 43 to 45 mil. The ones that come with most TV brackets are M8 by 40 mil. So you're five mil short. So I'm going to shoot down to B&Q. Apparently they do M8 by 50. So I shall just put a nut on the back to act as a spacer. And you need the spacers because apparently the width at the bottom of the telly is wider than the top. So there's spacers that come from Samsung. Okay, got the brackets on. Just to say, what I did was from the AV forums, they said you needed aim M8 by 43 to 45 mil in the instructions. That's what the uh, manual says. But being Q on a Sunday, only do a M8 by 50. So what I've done is I've just put a bolt uh, behind and it fits into the brackets nice and easy. And it does the job. So all the brackets are now fit and they're all on ready to go on. And this is the bracket which came from the plasma centre. It was a quarter of the price of what it was in Curry's. So there we go. As you can see, it takes two people, takes two people to hold it. And then this is the cable tidy, which is a really nice, neat thing from Samsung. The only downer is, is that if like me, you're using an AV amp as your switching device, there is no additional HDMI ports, everything, has to go through this box, which is obviously a pain in the neck when I've plumbed it. So theoretically what I'll have to happen is, is I'll have to stick this to the wall, uh, probably stick it there, something like that. And then all my HDMI inputs can go through. Uh, Cause obviously what I'm gonna use is the amplifier as my switcher. I don't need what that is, which is an extension. Another good thing is that there is this push-in panel then that covers all the wires so everything's all well hidden very neat design so now comes the big fun is putting it up on the bracket okay let's get it up on the wall three two one you got it that's it all right yeah it's quite careful your size isn't on now so it's up on the wall i will say it is very very heavy a lot heavier and what they say in the uh, brochure. It definitely takes two of you to lift it. So just setting up the internet. Okay, so after setting everything up and it all running correctly, we are now doing just a couple software updates to the latest version. One thing I found when trying to set up Sky, it would only go to 8-bit. And the way round it I found was by selecting HDMI UHD colour. Press the select, selected the HDMI number that it's in which in this case is four via the smart box. So I selected that. So put it on, close. And then when I went back to Sky, I could then set, I could then set it in HDMI. Sorry, I could then set it in 10 bit UHD. They managed to set it up set sky to 2180 and we're now testing with the great wall i have to say the blues are a lot more vivid the clarity of the picture this is all standard settings no tweaks yet 
looks very good, very impressive. The black are the foot soldiers. Am I right? Those are the archers. It's very good. 